Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Alright guys, by the title of this video, you can tell this is going to be a serious video. This isn't one of my normal videos that I normally do, and I honestly was not planning on doing this video. But we decided that in the recent events, we feel like we need to make others aware, right? About what happened. Yeah. So, um, Thursday night, Jeff and I were on You Now, which I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that before, but it's kind of like YouTube, but um, live broadcasting. You get to video, like do a video chat with people, but you can't see them, you can, you can only read their comments through the chat, kind of like Google Hangout or something like that. During our broadcast, we were about, I don't know, about an hour and a half in, you think, almost two hours in? Yeah. into the broadcast and my cell phone had rang and it was a local number and it was 10.35 at night so I was like okay that's odd that someone is calling me this late and I don't know the number so I answered it. I started getting a bunch of odd questions from this lady on the phone. Um, some were such as do I know Jeff which is obviously my husband and um, if I if Jeff was with me and yes, he was. We were right in the same room. And if I felt like I was in a safe place, if we had guns in the house, if, um, or what we were, we they wanted to know what we were wearing. And then I found out that it was our local police department that was talking to us. She had told us, I, I told, I asked her if someone had made a phone call. Because I, I wasn't sure if we were being loud. I don't remember us being loud. So I wasn't sure if maybe the neighbors just got annoyed and called the police or something. So I asked her if someone had made a phone call and she said yes, we actually did receive a very disturbing phone call we just want to make sure everything's okay. So she just continued to ask questions almost like as if she was wanting me to stay on the phone longer, which obviously I wasn't hanging up until the conversation was over. And then she had told us that um, she was going to need Jeff to step outside of the house with his hands in the air. So we were a little freaked out. We thought maybe someone was trying to prank us. We didn't know what was going on. So we'd opened up the front door and Jeff had went out with his hands in the air. And the lady had told me that Jeff was going to hear a command and that he needed to follow directions. But we didn't hear a command when Jeff came out. So we were both kind of like a little apprehensive about him going outside. So I told the lady on the phone that, listen, you know, we are completely weirded out by this. And we have no idea what is going on. And we did not hear a command. Well, as soon as I said that, we had heard blank, blank police come out with your hands up. So Jeff would come out with his hands up and I'll let him tell you um, what had happened whenever he did that. I go out, I have my hands up. I walk to my about front of my yard. They informed me to face my driveway with my hands up. And so I did. And at this point I had no idea. I, 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 I believe they had said our local, they named our local police, our city we live in, and told us, you know, this is so-and-so police. So, but at this point, anybody could say that. Anybody could say they are a police officer or, or whatever. And so at this time, I'm like, whoever's doing a prank, they're doing one heck of a good job because at this point, they got me. You know, if this was someone that wanted to rob her house, they had us. They had us. And, um, or had me. I so, was still inside the house at this time. So I, I follow the commands. And at this point, um, being a former law enforcement officer myself and having my father was a former law enforcement officer, I started to recognize a lot of their commands. And they knew exactly what they were saying. Like, I recognized them. It was legit to me. I was like, okay, this ain't no random guy just barking out orders to try to scare you. But I still didn't know. So, to continue with my story, they told me to face to the sound of their voice. And then I heard another guy telling that to that individual. So I immediately knew, okay, this must be an FTO officer telling his, tra his person he's training what to say, how to do it, or he's never been in that situation before. So I turn to the sound of the voice with my hands up. They tell me to, with my left hand, uh, grab my back of my shirt, pull it up, and turn around. What they were doing then is they were looking to make sure I didn't have any weapons around my 
my hips or anything, tucked in or anything. Then to continue walking to their voice. And at that point, they hit their flashlights. They said, walk to the lights, walk to the lights. I'm thinking, the, when you hear that term, walk to the light, you're thinking, oh Lord, well this is it. But as I was walking, I kind of glanced over my kind of my peripheral vision down the road of our street and I saw a squad car. So then I knew, okay, this this is legit. This is a police officer. Then, it, believe it or not, I relaxed. I was already, per se, relaxed. I was nervous because I didn't know what was going on. Well, you have a bright light shining in your face where you can't see anything but that light. So you but, know who's on the other side of that flashlight. But after that, I I just, I was fine. I, I knew to follow their commands, do exactly what they said, and you're fine. You know, to go on a little quick rant here with all these people hating on cops and stuff, it's to me it's it's bull crap. It's their job. It's it's their Just job listen. to do what they did and they, they didn't hurt us, they didn't cuss at us, they didn't beat us. Uh we just did what they said. So to continue with my story, make it a little bit quicker, I followed their commands, they put the cuffs on me, they got me up. They walked me behind our neighbor's house. They actually pulled me. I actually got handcuffed in my neighbor's driveway. Now, keep in mind, I didn't say this. When I came out and I got closer, I started noticing because my eyes started to adapt to the to the darkness. When you have a 223, which you guys that don't know what a 223 is, it's a it's an, it's a type of an AR. It's it's a round in an AR. Uh, it's usually what SWAT teams use. It's a, a it's an autom uh, assault rifle, if you want to call it that or whatnot. Uh, when you have those aiming right at you from all directions, things get really real at that point. It's it's, very it's, it's not a game no more. It's not oh ha 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 because anyone knows me. I love to you know I love to laugh. I love to joke around. But when you start, when you got twelve about around twelve rifles aiming right at you things go through your head like don't do anything stupid yeah. don't pray to the good lord above that uh, uh their their fingers are off the trigger and there's not an accident accidental discharge or something because at that point i'm gone i'm gone we didn't know what the phone call was that they received yeah we this had no idea had told me we had said. no idea at this point so when the cuffs are on the, my hands i have no idea what's going on still so they pulled me over, and the young officer that, that was patting me down was very polite, he's very nice. Um, then there was a female officer right next to me, she was very nice. Uh, I was more worried about being in the neighbor's yard than anything, because I didn't want to, you know, wake people up, because I knew I had done nothing wrong, and, you know, he's patting me down and going through his routine and stuff, and then, uh, then, I, it, was I, my turn. then it was her turn, and it was pretty much... The same with her. Right? I was told to set the cell phone down and walk outside. Now keep in mind, our kids are in our house sleeping. They have no idea this is going on. We have to leave our children in our home to go put our hands in the air, not knowing what this phone call was about. All we know is very disturbing. The dispatcher told me that they would let us know what the phone call was about once everything is clear and they know that everything is safe. So I had to do all the same things Jeff had to do, walk out, lift my shirt, turn in circles. Um, I was told once I once my feet hit the neighbor's driveway, they told me to turn around, put one knee down, and put my other knee down, put my hands behind my back. And then as soon as I put my hands behind my back, I was handcuffed. Um, I At this point, I'm standing thinking, okay, my, I've never, ever, ever been in handcuffs before. Never been involved with the law at all. So at this point, when I have handcuffs on my hand, I'm assuming I'm arrested. What no, have I done wrong? Me neither. I've never been, other than training and stuff, I've never officially been put in handcuffs. Yeah. But we were not arrested. We were just being it was detained. detained. We're, we weren't, let me... They just wanted me, to make sure they yeah, were safe. A, there's a we difference. Safe. We were not arrested. Yeah. We were detained because they had, they were trying to, like we were, they were trying to figure out what the heck was going yes. on. So when we got handcuffed, um, I don't even know how many SWAT team members had I, I heard any, flooded our home yeah, with was, our children. There was about sleeping. three or four, if I can remember, that came inside our house. With shields, guns drawn, the, the, full the whole nine yards. SWAT. My biggest fear was the kids were going to wake up and see them in the house and not know where we were. I stressed to the 
officer that my kids are inside and she told me that they're not going to bust down any doors. They're just going to go in and look. They're going to quiet. The was, kids are not even going to know they're there. Them and Ginger. I was kind of yeah, worried about Ginger. Because our dog, when she sees someone, she doesn't know. She barks like crazy, like loud. And I was afraid she'd wake up the kids. And But the kids never woke up once. They were, they did a really great job. The kids never even knew they were there. So um, once they figured out the house was clear and everything, they walked us back up, or they gave us the pat down and all that, and then they told us what the call was about. Someone had called in saying that... Put, pretending that they were Well, they, we didn't know this at the time. At the we time, just thought we they made a phone that. call saying that Jeff had shot me in the face with an M16. And if you guys don't know what an M16 is, it's a military rifle. And only military is allowed to well, you have, Unless you have a class... I believe it's a class three. And I don't even think they're allowed to leave the base or anything like that, are they? If you no, if you if you have a class three license, you are allowed to own one. Okay. But it's not an easy thing. You can't go to Walmart and pick one up. Right. It's not. It ain't happening. So it was a very severe call, and he had also said that he was going to shoot anyone who came near. So of course I was. No, no, no. He specified that I was going to shoot any cops. Yes. That came near. So of course they were on high alert. Once we found out everything was clear and we started putting two and two together, they were asking us if we had made anyone angry, um, if no, one, if someone is not happy with us, or if anyone at his work could have maybe done this as a sick prank. And we're like, no, we have no idea or who or why somebody would do this to us. We're, we're we we keep yourself. So they had walked us back to our yard, and then at that time, when they walked us back out, the SWAT team had come out and said everything's clear. So they unhand unhandcuffed us, and we all went inside and talked. Um, now. We didn't even realize this was a thing until afterwards when my friend had told me that this has happened before on you now. What it is, is there's some sick, sick person who, I don't know if they don't like the way your broadcast is going or if they're... This is her opinion on Yeah, the this person. is just my opinion. I don't I, know. You, you just hold on. I'll tell you my opinion here. But there. these people will hack into... They hacked into you now. They'll hack into pretty much any live stream. In game, game. Gaming, like I'm um, Twitch... Or anything like I don't know if you guys know what that is, but they hacked into you now. They got our IP address. When they got our IP address, they were able to get our postal address. So they did their research, found out where our postal address was, called our local non-emergency police station through a blocked call so that way they couldn't get caught and pretended to be Jeff hyperventilating, acting as if he really did shoot. He was claiming to be his girlfriend. We're married. But they said his name and everything. Um, they knew our actual address. They spelled out our street name and our street address to the police officer, which is scary to me that someone actually had my address. Swatting is not funny at all. It's not funny. Someone could have been killed. I don't know. I, you can give a short version of your thing uh, about swatting, but it's, it's disgusting. It's it, disgusting. To me, she went on to say it was a sick, sick person. To me, a sick person is someone that's got a 104 fever. Yeah. Someone's got a headache. This joker ain't nothing but a low-down coward. He is beyond scum. He and she. Uh, we knew from the voice of the 911 this was a male, but females could do it also. Never heard of one, but it's beside the point. This person does his fear tactics, or whatever you want to call them, through a keyboard. Through a phone. Because he's not man he's not a man enough. He's not an adult enough. Because he's a coward. He's a lazy, low-down scum. And through all this this trouble and stuff we went through, I was never per se scared. I was more worried for her and my two kids. We didn't even mention what that's, he said. That's all. Time. I think the good Lord, and I thought, I think the police officers, the next day when I saw them, that they handled it the way they did. Because things could have went. you got to understand from that. I, I'm so sick of these people saying, the cops this, cops that. Let me, let me tell you something. It wasn't the cops' fault. Mm -mm. They had no idea if this was real or not. You can't tell them, well, they need to change their tactics. They need to change. No, they did as they were trained. Yep. I, I, I went through the same style, the same type. I'm not going to fault them. I'm going to fault the, the coward behind the, the phone. He's not a man. He will never be a man. Is, he's got to put his head on the pillow every night and think. And, you know, I was telling Crystal this. 
You know, I, I was going to tell him, you know, bravo, great job. You did it. You, you got. You, we're you, not on you now anymore. You we're not on you now. You got us. You got us held by gunpoint. You had them come into our house. Congratulations. But now I will tell you this: if I could ever find you, if I could ever catch you, I'll show you. I'll beat the man into you. Is what I will do. That's not a threat. That's a promise. So you do. You keep doing what you do. You keep go ahead. And you 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 play your little games. Because one day, one day. They're going to catch you. And your little 30 minutes of <laughs> fun will turn into 10 years in prison. And I promise you, you think we're mad and we're upset? You should have heard the police officers. Ten, over $10,000 was wasted just on a prank call. We had every police officer on duty that night at our house. We had, a fire, we had fire trucks. We had ambulances. The whole street was blocked down. Every police officer that was on duty that night was on our street. Behind our house. Behind our Behind house. Behind our neighbors' houses. Everywhere. Everywhere. You know, I'm pretty sure our neighbors are looking at us like, what the heck's going on? Like, we're very bad. We haven't talked to any of our neighbors. I mean, but that's beside the point. The, the, the point is, is you caused more damage doing your little prank and your little game and you you think you thought you got a little joke out of it. Well, haha. Good. I'm glad you laughed at it. I'm glad you thought it was funny. And the one good thing I, she failed to mention is when this all happened, she turned off the live feed. You know, when she was before getting Before we went out. Before we went out. So you didn't get to see what happened. You didn't get to see the cops come in our house. You didn't get to see your prank. And I'm so unfold. glad for that. I'm so happy that you didn't get to see your so-called masterpiece. Because that's what these people do. Well, the joke's on you. The joke, the joke's on you because the stuff's handed over to our, our local detective. Now, I ain't going to lie. It's not going to be a, a week, two-week case. But you're dealing with people that are smarter than you. You will get caught. You will get caught. And I hope and pray to God that I can be there to look you in the eye. Because obviously you can't be a man and do the same thing to me. Because I'm going. If I've got to fly to find you, to get to you, to set in that courthouse, and I'm afraid of, of, of heights, I, I will do it. I will spend my last dollar so you can look right in my eyes. So you can see me. Because I want you to know, this is what a man will do. I, I will look you square in your eyes and, and, and smile and say, don't drop the soap because you're going to need it. Because you think you're Mr. Little, you know, Mr. Tough Guy. Well, we'll see how tough you are. We'll see how real tough you are. Swatting is not a joke. It's not funny. It's not something that anyone should take lightly. What swatting is, is somebody will see you live making a video. And they'll think, you know what would be really funny? It's if I called the police right now, claim to be someone shooting their wife, so I can watch the SWAT team come in these people's house without them even expecting it. Unexpectedly yes, unexpected. swarm into their home. And I can watch it all unfold on video. That's what they like to watch. They like to sit back and gloat and think, look what I just done. See all this? See these SWAT teams in their house screaming at them with guns in their face? I did that. Bravo to me. I'm so happy to watch this unfold on video. It's not funny. It's not cute. It's it hurts people. No, we're not gonna stop YouTube. We are going to stop you now. Yeah, you now is you, I, we're if, done for you guys that have been watching us on you now. We're sorry. We hate to go. It we hate to go, to but stop doing I'm now. sorry. You know, this guy has our address. I it's mean, just too. He, he's he's more than welcome to try to come over here, but he's not going to. It would have been a different situation if the guy did not have my actual address. But when we heard on the 911 call him state our address exactly to the T, even our freaking direction of our house, it freaked us out. So that is the reason why we're stopping you now. Not because of, um, of a prank call, but just the fact that this person was able to get our address. And actually, he could per he could have wrote it down. So the next time we're on you now, it's a lot easier for him because now he doesn't have to look up the eye. Yeah, we could be sitting here doing this, talking to you guys right now on the camera. All and of a sudden, she gets a phone call, and we haven't been, we haven't broadcast on you now since 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 this incident. And we won't be. Anymore. And we won't. But now it's 
He could watch this and get pissed off because I just called him a coward. Says, "Oh, I'm going to show you." He gets swat us again. He gets swat us again. But you know what? The joke's on you because we went to the police department. They are very aware. They shook my hand. They said, "You guys are law-abiding citizens. So if you do carry any set of nuts and and you decide you want to do it again, and it's not going to work." And he may never even see this video. He may but not. This could be I hope he a video does for future. People who think, that's a good idea. Yeah. I think I should do that. No. Don't do it. It's stupid. It's going to land you in prison. Uh, for, End of story. Yeah. At least mandatory. What was it five, ten years? Then you, you get a terrorism charge popped yes, on you. Yes, because this is a terrorist act as well. When Even you, if they're not outside of your state or your United States, it's still a terrorist act. You're still hacking into some system to get information on people. It's terrorism. We looked it up, and I've got a all new respect, is you know, for for people that has went through this. Because when you see it on YouTube, if you go on YouTube and you type in swatting, you know, these are people. We got very lucky. Our department actually, you know, called us before. They don't have to call you. I'm sorry to break it to you. You could be on your you now, on your game, and all of a sudden, boom. Your door gets kicked in. You get a flash grenade thrown in the window. You get a flash grenade thrown in your window. You get screams from all different angles on the ground, on it, you know, the whole nine yards. Guns pointed to your face. Everything. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on, on people, you know, that are really emotionally tore up because of this. And I do believe really, really strongly that they should just, whoever the judge is or whoever you know, can find these guys, they throw the book out. They throw the book. And they don't, I don't care if you're 13 or 30, throw it at them. And I don't want to hear this liberal crap. Oh, they're kids. They're looking for attention. You know what? When I used to look for attention, I used to fill up water balloons and, and throw them at people. Or I used to, you know, go out there and, and do funny stuff. I don't call 911 and... Tell someone, hey, so-and-so just shot their wife in the face and they're planning on killing their kids. I mean, what is wrong with you people? Seriously, what the heck is wrong with you people? I mean, ugh, you just, you just need your butt beat. <laughs> you just... Disgusting. Guys, please, 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 do not take this this video as a grain, at a, what happened to say about this, grain of salt. Yeah, don't, no, no, this, this, is this is not me playing a character. This is not me playing any character that you see or, or ha ha, he's funny, he's joking, he's dancing. No, no, I am This is dead a serious situation. Serious. And you people out there that think that this will not ever happen to you. Well, I'm not telling you to stop. I'm not telling you because I, I was talking to her about because I didn't want to stop because I don't like bullies. I hate bullies. I didn't want to be bullied. But in return, a lot of you guys don't have kids. You're not married. You don't have a wife. You don't have that responsibility as a man to say, okay, sometimes I've got to bite the bullet. I've got to suck my pride up and say, what is better? And I've made that decision to say, we're not going back on it. It could happen again. Keep in mind, we have only been on you now for a week and three days. A week and three days. Normally this kind of stuff doesn't happen to people that us small of a you now -er. It's these celebrities, people, famous it's more, people. More famous people that it happens to because they have more people watching their broadcast. I think we only had like 25 people watching our broadcast at the time and they still targeted us. So it doesn't matter how big or how small you are, it can and possibly will happen to you. And you'll it's never know. It's a risk you're taking. You'll never you know. You won't know. All of a sudden, you may get a phone call or you may just get your door busted in. You'll never know when and if it's going to happen to you. But it could and that's a risk you're taking and that's not a risk that we're willing to take again guys just be more careful on who you're talking to online try not to live stream if you're gonna live stream use your data on your phone it might be a little bit safer but I'm not saying that it's a guaranteed that they're not gonna find me that way and if you can hide your IP address because your IP address tells a lot about who you are and where you live please do us a favor share this video with everyone you know get the word out there that swatting is happening it is a real thing and it is a real serious serious situation that needs to be controlled it needs to be stopped these people I don't know how people can stop it they need to get a better firewall they need to get better protection something but share this video let everyone else know 
that swatting is real. We experienced it and we don't want anybody else to have to go through that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys next time. God bless.